It's amazing to sort of find yourself creating work that you didn't expect. I literally start with a blank canvas and I might have a sense of place, but pretty quickly whatever I'm painting takes over and um, I work with the process to sort of uh, coax the, the picture into life. It's a little bit like taking your dog for a walk and rather than trying to make it do exactly what you want, letting it off the lead, sometimes it comes with you, other times it has a good idea and you go running off after it. This sort of painting process is about harmony with the medium and really drawing on your, your previous experiences of life and art and nature to see what, what occurs. So that you're always, it's always surprising, always an adventure. I think people feel with abstract, abstract work that they're being pushed away and there's some sort of academic knowledge or there's some sort of kind of like being able to understand what they don't understand. Um, I, think the, I think the value in abstraction is that it's not representational of anything in particular, which means that it's actually open to more interpretation, which means that anyone can come to it and not feel they're being pushed away. They can, they can actually look into it and they can see what they can see. They can see, in some of Tony's works I see tracks in snow. Um, in others I see kind of, um, I see trees. In others I see landscapes. Um, others I, I see shapes and I can't work it out, but I see beauty and I see, um, I mean it's almost like those Rorschach prints where it's kind of like, what do you see? And people see different things. I think it's, it's, it's a similar kind of idea. The museum is fantastic. I mean, it's been my, because I've lived in Tasmania for 35 years, it's always been the local museum. But I think what's happening at the moment is that the museum is being regenerated. The new hang is absolutely marvellous. And um, to be part, of, be part of it in that, in that time of change is just fantastic. For me, seeing the work that, work that I've previously only seen in my shed and in the studio or laid out in the grass to dry or something, suddenly on a museum wall uh, is thrilling. <laughs>